Our city has been struck by yet another gun violence tragedy. Two people are now dead and four others injured after a shooting in downtown Louisville overnight. LMPD confirming the second death in an update this afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Connor Steffen. It all happened outside the Southern Restaurant and Lounge just after three this morning. Police say when officers arrived, they found six people who had been shot outside the club. One man was pronounced dead on the scene. The other five were taken to the hospital where another man would later die. The other four who were shot are expected to survive. Another person was injured due to a fall while trying to escape the shooting. Police say they are still looking for suspects and that there were several hundred people outside the restaurant. There were two to 300 people at that location when this shooting occurred. This is our community. We cannot do this alone. We need the public's assistance when they see something to say something. A witness who was inside at the time told us off camera that she heard two shots. She said she got knocked down and then people started running over her. The city now taking action, calling for major changes to the city's nightlife. WHS 11's Alexis Jones and photojournalist Elijah McKenzie show us some of those proposed changes. As you can see, Market Street is no longer blocked off after a shooting happened here this morning outside of Southern Restaurant and Lounge. Though all victims are now accounted for, officials are still searching for a suspect and they're calling on the public for help. Your information is critical and will save more lives. City leaders add they're dedicating as much resources as possible to the investigation. In the meantime, Southern Lounge will remain closed. Alcohol and Beverage Control says it reached out to state officials Sunday to terminate the lounge's license, prohibiting owners from operating again. It's called an emergency suspension order based on the violence that has taken place. And that process takes a little bit of time, but LMPD is going to send the reports over to the state officials, which will start the clock and that would result in an immediate revocation of that license. Mayor Craig Greenberg says they've worked to close the business since July 10th after receiving several complaints, including loud noise, customers blocking traffic and parking on sidewalks. But unfortunately, he says they were unable to shut it down before lives were taken. In Louisville, Alexis Jones, WHAS 11, on your side. Police are asking for the public's assistance as they continue to investigate. Anyone with information is encouraged to call the anonymous tip line. That's 574-LMPD. You can also use the online portal.